This lesson deals with supplemental problem 4.9. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problem starting on page 9. The circuit shown below here is called a pan pot circuit. It can electrically position a single source of sound across the panorama from a front set of speakers to a rear set of speakers using a potentiometer. It's also called a fader circuit. What I've shown here is one of the two channels. This is the left. And so I've got my music coming in on the left channel. I'm going to move this pot wiper arm back and forth and we'll see what happens to the output at the left front speaker and the left rear speaker. Now the circuit may look a little bit overwhelming, but there's some pieces in here we've seen before. Here is our inverting amplifier. It's going to multiply this node voltage by a resistor ratio of minus 58.3K divided by 10K. And the same is true for this circuit. Now we're going to multiply this node voltage. Now we've seen the pot before. This has got the wiper arm grounded. And what I've got here is a single voltage source feeding two points. Now whenever I see this, what I like to do is to draw the voltage source twice. Cut the wire here. And let's draw this voltage source a second time. Again, call this V left. So I'm maintaining the same node voltages here. So this node voltage is V left, and so is this one. But in doing that, I've separated this into two circuits an upper half and a lower half. So let me just take this upper half here. I'm going to redraw that with the equivalent circuit and show you that there's actually a, a very simple circuit inside of here. And then we also have a similar circuit on the bottom. So I got my V left coming in through a 24.3K through the pot back to ground. In my first analysis, let's put the pot all the way to the bottom to the fade front position. And we'll do the center and then we'll do a fade rear. And the equivalent circuit is shown on the next page. So here's my left channel uh, music. I've got a 24.3K and then I've got a pot back to ground. I got the full value of the pot when I slide it all the way to fade front. And then I have my inverting amplifier, which has an input resistance of 10K and a voltage gain of minus the resistor ratios. And there was a minus 5.83. Same is true for the bottom op amp. And this time we're amplifying this voltage. I'll call that V2. I'll call this V1. That fairly complicated circuit reduced down to a voltage divider and then a controlled source. So what's the voltage here? Well, I got 10K in parallel with 10K, voltage divided with 24.3K. So that's 5K over 24.3K plus 5K times that left channel music. Then that voltage sees a gain of minus 5.83. I'm just gonna multiply this times this. And what I get is about almost one, it's 0.995 times that left music input. For the bottom half of the circuit, I've got a voltage divider again. I've got zero in parallel with 10K, but anything in parallel with zero is zero. In other words, the product over the sum would be zero times 10K over zero plus 10K. And that's gonna voltage divide with 24.3K. And whatever voltage is here, then we're gonna see a gain of minus 5.83. But this voltage divider is zero. And so we're gonna multiply zero by minus 5.83. So we get zero times V left. So the music that's coming in, all of it is going to the left front speaker and nothing's going to the rear. Let's take a look at the center position. Now the pot is equally positioned. Half is in the upper circuit, half is in the lower circuit. So now I've got 5K in parallel with 10K and I get 3.33K for the parallel combination. A little bit smaller than the 5K and the same is true here. So voltage V1 then is a voltage divider of 3.33K with 24.3K times that left input channel. Multiply that by a gain of minus 5.83. And now when you multiply this times a minus 5.83, you get minus 0.703 times that left input. The same is true for the bottom circuit because we've got the same equivalent circuit. We're looking at here now the node voltage V2. The numbers here might seem kind of funny to you. There's a 24.3K resistor. That's a standard value for a 0.5% resistor. This circuit was designed by Robert Orban and published in December of 1971 in the Journal of the Audio Engineering Society. And he had picked these numbers very carefully to get this result. This is really approximately one over the square root of two. In ECE 202, we'll talk about RMS power. I'm also gonna take a look in a supplemental problem at the end of this chapter at plotting power versus pot rotation. This circuit has a very interesting result because of how he picked these resistors. So he picked this loading to be 10K, which is the value of the pot. That's putting the pot in the center position. So we're getting equal voltage to both the front and rear speakers. So you get equal sound. Now, if you put the pot in the fade rear position, you're going to just exchange these two. So we'll have a short circuit here, and we'll have a 10K resistor here. 
We'll have this result now for the left rear speaker and this result for the left front speaker. Basically we're shorting out V1, so we're gonna get nothing out. Here we get that voltage divider again of uh, 5K. This is the Orbin pan pot circuit.